This is a Fiche Mono Comande. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, Safe Lock. Uh, it is the forerunner of the modern Fiche Maneo Safe Lock. Uh, it was patented in 1966, and this one is probably a 67 or 68 model, best I can tell by the components. What I wanted to show you was how it works, the interior workings of it. I could not find anything on the internet that really showed how it worked. So I thought I would show you that. First of all, there are some videos that show you how to open one, and I'll go over that very briefly. There is an outer dial and an inner dial. The outer dial has seven positions for combination and one position for throwing the bolt. The position for throwing the bolt is the one that doesn't have a number and it will normally have this small piece of plastic dot in there but you have to remove that to get to an allen set screw to take this apart and I'm not putting that back in there yet until I get it mounted. It's very difficult to remove that without tearing it up. So you have seven positions. You go, well, first of all, the plate, the dial ring has a spring that holds this out from the lock. So you push this in to change to one of your seven positions. And once you're in a position, say number one, then you dial by the number of clicks. There's 13 positions, so 0 through 12 clicks. Then you push it back in, go to the next one, it'll lock in place, and you do the same thing through all seven. And since there's seven positions and 13 possible places for each one, I believe that's a little little shy of 64 million possible combinations. Then once you have that, then you go to your bolt throwing position and you throw the bolt by turning the inner knob. Now, how all that works. I have another lock that I have apart. So you have your outer dial, which has this shaft that's hollow. And then it will go against this, what I call a distributor. And it locks in place against it, but it can move out some by that spring. So the inner shaft, it turns this gear, which in turn turns this smaller gear. So when you're turning the clicks, this little gear right here on the end, you're turning a click each time. Now in the lock, there's a plate down here that has these small uh, protrusions on it. And the back side of this has holes that match. So... When it's in the lock, it latches in place in a particular place so you can turn the, the gear. Then you push it in just enough to clear those little notches. You can turn it and the spring will pull it back and notch it into the next position. So it'll notch into eight positions. Seven for the combination and one for the bolt. Now when it's in there, what you're actually turning on the combinations are these little what I call beehives. They have four different parts, a spring, a latch, an upper and a lower part. You are actually turning the lower part. They fit in here basically like so. So when you turn the shaft, you are turning the beehive.
when you are in the position to throw the bolt, there's this part right here that's one piece that it goes against, and you're turning it. But importantly, you're also, through that, turning a small part underneath here that I can't show you because you have to take rivets. You have to physically destroy it to get to them. But you're also turning this little gear down here. Now what that little gear does is pull these little points back in that are spring-loaded. So when you throw the bolt, get it to focus here, you are pulling those back in. Now I'll show you what that does. Each of these beehives has a spring under them that keeps uh, counterclockwise pressure on it. And they have a little notch right here that that spring goes against. So now you've got your beehive in there. The little spring-loaded notch right there is keeping it from turning unless you give it enough pressure. And then it holds it in place. And it's more pressure than the spring behind it, so it stays there. But when you throw the bolt, It pulls those back in and allows that beehive to go back to its resting position. Now the beehive itself, you're turning this lower portion, which turns this upper portion because this little spring-loaded latch right here locks them together. But there are positions all the way around that it can lock into. Because it's spring-loaded and it has this little edge on it right here that goes against this inside gear. Try not to lose these springs and parts. Okay, now let's show you how all that works inside the lock. I have made an acrylic back cover for this lock. So you can see it. How it works. Each of the beehives is here. There are seven of them. This is the part that throws the bolt. The center part right here is the part that goes in and out the distributor that you can turn to change that gear to any of these eight positions. There are two slides, one on top of the other. The top slide is what allows you to the bolt to either throw or not throw. There is a small lever right here with a two millimeter spring. You don't want to lose that one. The part where you try to throw the bolt comes down against that lever. And that's what keeps you from being able to throw the bolt. So that little bitty lever right there is really what keeps the whole thing from being able to be thrown. But. If you were to slide this plate forward, it'll clear that, and then you can throw the bolt. Well, that plate is spring-loaded back here by a small spring, and it has little notches at each beehive. And as long as the notches in the beehive are lined up with that notch, like the first one is there, then this plate will slide forward, which slides this lever forward, allowing you to open the bolt. 
to align them all up, you move that outer ring, which turns the distributor. I have the first one set on zero, so it's lined up. Then you go to the second position. I have it set on one, so one click and it's lined up. I have this one set on two, three, four, five, and six. So now they're all lined up. And when I go to throw this bolt, get it to the bolt position. When I go to throw this bolt, it clears. But you just noticed something. You heard that sound. That is those little notches being pulled in on that center gear, allowing all the beehives to go back to their resting locations now. That's the reason for this little spring now, is because they're not pushed down inside there anymore. Let's get it back to... So see how that had to push out for this to get back. Now to change the combination, there's this little goober right here. It's got a flat spot on the inside. And that pushes against the plate under this plate. The plate under it has these little notches also. But they push against the little latches that hold the top part of the beehive and the bottom part together in a relative location. So once you push those in, you can, you can turn the bottom or top part separately. So to change the combination, you've got to first get it to the combination that opens. So you have to do this with the safe door open because you don't throw the bolt. If you throw the bolt, you can't change the combination. So now that it's set to where all these are in line, so these can go forward, then you turn this part right here, which pushes that bottom plate into those latches and allows independent turning of the top and bottom of the beehives. So if you take a look here, at this first one, you can see now I can turn the bottom without turning the top. So what you do is you go to each one, that's position number one. You go all the way left so you know where you are with your inner, inner dial. Then you turn the number of clicks you want the combination to be. Say four. Then you go to the next one, turn it all the way to the left, and turn it the number of clicks you want say three. All the way to the left would be a zero, a zero, a zero, a zero, and a zero. So now the combination set to four clicks, three clicks, and you don't even have to click the other ones because they're on zero. So now you turn this back to get that plate back to where it goes in its resting position and now all those little spring-loaded latches make it to where the top beehive turns with the bottom beehive but now you've got to open it So they'll all go back to the so all the beehives will go back to their resting position. You throw the bolt, take it back. Now all the beehives are in the resting position, and notice that all these I set to zero are already lined up. Now this one, I move to position one, turn the inner dial four clicks, and it's lined up. Three clicks and it's lined up. I can go back 
and I can throw the ball. That is how the Fichet Monocommande inner workings work.